Good day everyone, my name is Elbrian Dalikan and welcome sa channel ni Sir Jello Leoncio. Magdi-discuss siya ngayon tungkol sa multiplying binomials and mamaya may bibigay siyang question sa atin. Sana masagwatan natin, so abangan nyo. So today's video, I'm going to teach you on how you're going to multiply binomials. By the way, when we say binomials, these are algebraic expressions that contains two terms. For example, x plus y is a binomial since there are two terms. This is the first and the second term. Another example of binomial is x minus y also. Since it is separated by subtraction, there are two terms also. So, sa pagmumultiply ng binomials, mag-umpisa muna tayo sa numbers. So, we have 5 plus 2 multiplied by 2 plus 4. In multiplying binomials, we will follow the FOIL method. F O I L where F stands for first term to first term O stands for outer term to outer term I inner term and L is for last term to the last term so kailangan ma-identify natin kung alin ang first, ang outer, inner at last kung titignan nyo itong expression na to ito ang first sa kabila naman, ito rin ang first so, imumultiply natin siya, that will be 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Next, outer to outer. So, sa expression na to, ito yung nasa panglabas na term. So, outer to outer term. So, we have 5 multiplied by 4. We will get 20. Then, sa term na to, sa expression na to, ito ang inner term. So, 3 multiplied by 2. So, that is 6. And then, kung ito yung first, ito yung last. Kung ito yung first, ito naman yung last. So, last term to last term. That is 3 multiplied by 4. We will get 12. And then, ito total lang natin or i-add lang natin yung mga ito, i-combine lang natin para makuha natin yung final answer. So, as you can see, 10 plus 20 is 30. 36 and we will get how many? 48. So the product is 48. If we will check if our procedure or kung tama ba yung ginagawa nating FOIL method, i-check natin sa number. Alam natin that 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. And 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And 8 times 6 is 48. So, parehas yung answer natin, meaning to say, tama yung process ng FOIL method na ginagawa natin. Okay, so may example tayo dito. Number 1, find the product of x plus 4 times x plus 5. So, again, we will use the FOIL method in multiplying binomial. Since dalawang binomial to, para makuha yung product, gagamitin natin ang FOIL method. So, meron tayong x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 5. So, sulat natin yung FOIL. Actually, pwede nyo rin siyang wag nang isulat kung kakayanin nyo na agad na, ayun na yung product. So, first to first, ito yung first, ito rin yung first. x times x, x squared. Outer to outer, yung mga nasa labas banda. So, ito yon tsaka ito. We have x times 5, 5x. Then, yung nasa loob, yung inner, inner to inner term, we have 4 times x, 4x. So, last term to the last term, ito yung first, ito yung last. Ito yung first, ito yung last. So, last and last. 4 times 5 is 20. Uh, these two terms can be combined, magiging positive 9x. So, we will write, so 5x plus 4x is 9x. Then, we will just combine. The answer will be x squared plus 9x plus 20. So, this is the answer. Okay, another example, number 2. Find the product of x minus 9 times x minus 11. So, kanina, parehas siyang positive. Kaya, ang sagot natin lahat ay puro positive. Pero, sa case na to, dalawa ang negative. 
So, makikita natin kung ano mangyayari sa magiging sagot natin mamaya sa mga sign niya. So, again, using the FOIL method in multiplying x minus 9 and x minus 11, so we have FOIL method again. So, x times x, x squared, outer term, we have x times negative 11 is a negative 11x. Then, inner to inner terms, we have negative 9 multiplied by x. Huwag nyo kalimutan yung negative na sign niya dahil pag nagkamali kayo, magkakamali na yung final answer natin. So, negative 9 times x is a negative 9x. Then, negative 9 times negative 11 dahil sila yung last terms, we have positive 99. And then, to find the answer, Combine muna natin to since similar term sila dahil pareha silang may x lang. Etong dalawa ay hindi similar terms dahil ito ay may exponent na to, ito naman ay wala. May imaginary one lang yan. So, since silang dalawa ang similar, sila lang ang pwedeng ipag-combine. At kailangan alam nyo ang rules ng integers dahil dito we are trying to add same sign. Again, pag mag a ng same sign, we will add the numbers that is 20 and then use or copy the same sign and then the x so therefore the answer will be x squared minus 20x plus 99 this is the final answer ok example number 3 find the product of x minus 4 times x plus 9 so same process tayo this is the x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 9. So, we will use the FOIL method kasi pareha siya binomial. So, first term to first term will give us x squared. Outer term to outer term, we have x multiplied by positive 9 is positive 9x. Inner term to inner term, we have negative 4 and x, we will get negative 4x. And last term to the last term, negative 4 times positive 9 is a negative 36. Okay. So, again, silang dalawa ang similar terms. In adding different sign, we have to subtract the numbers, that is 5, then x, and then we will use the sign of the bigger number regardless of the sign that is 9. So, since the sign of 9 is positive, positive ang answer natin dito. So, our final answer will be x squared plus 5x minus 36. Pero kung nagkabaligtad siya ng sign, let's say x minus uh, plus 4 multiplied by x minus 9. So, tingnan natin yung kaibahan nito. This is x squared. x times negative 9 is a negative 9x. Positive 4 times x is a positive 4x. And positive 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. So, we can combine again these two terms. Since they are having different signs, so subtract natin 9 minus 4 is 5. Then, copy the x. And then, since 9 is bigger than 4 regardless of the sign, and the sign of 9 is a negative, so this will be negative. So, therefore, our answer will be x squared minus 5x minus 36. This is our final answer. So, kung titignan yung mabuti, since pag magkaiba ng sign, laging negative yung last term. Pero yung middle term, depende kung sino ang mas mataas or depende kung ano yung magiging sum itong dalawa. So, huwag kayong malilito doon. Okay? Example number 4, find the product of 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 7. So, again, we will use the FOIL method since they are both binomials. To get the product, we will use the FOIL method. This is the first, and first, we have 3x times 2x, we will get 6x squared. Then, outer term to outer term, we will get 3x times 7 is 21x. Inner term to inner term, we have negative 2 times positive 2x, negative 4x. And then, last term to the last term, negative 2 multiplied by 7 is a negative 14. And then, we can combine these two, that is different sign, we will subtract, we will get 
17x. 21 is bigger than 4 regardless of the sign. The sign of 21 is positive, so it is positive. Then the product will be 6x squared plus 17x minus 14. So, kung titignan nyo, the last term is negative since we are multiplying different sign for the last terms. Okay? So, I hope na gets nyo yung lesson natin ang multiplying binomials. Magagamit nyo to para sa pag-aaral ng iba't ibang topic sa mathematics na mas mataas pa sa level na to. So, tingnan natin kung talagang naintindihan yung multiplying binomials. I will be asking Eldrian Delican to to answer my questions, actually there are two questions. Tingnan natin kung makakuha niya. So, abangan natin. Okay, sagutan na natin yung bigay na questions. Meron tayong dalawang question. Um, ito na muna yung i-complete natin. Uh, gamitin natin yung yung diniscard kanina yung turn of oil method. Sulat natin siya. So first, outer, inner, and last term. Una tayo sa first term which is 4x times natin sa sa 5 5x so ito yun ok yun sa 4 times 5 is 20 x times x is x squared sa outer naman tayo uh, 4x times negative 6 4x times negative 6 4 times 6 24 positive times negative 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 24 copy mo yung x x o sa inner na tayo so ito na yun inner negative 3 times negative 3 times positive 5x. So, 5x. 3 times 5 is 15. Negative times positive, negative 15. Negative 15. So, copy mo yung x. Okay. Sa outer. Ay, sa last term na tayo. Negative 3 times negative 6. times 6 18 negative times negative positive 18 yan, okay na okay na sila nga pa ngayon pagsama natin itong dalawa uh, negative plus negative is negative add mo sila ng dalawa 39 39 tapos copy mo yung x uh, ngayon, pagsama na natin siya ng tatlo. Uh, 20x squared minus 39x plus So, yun yung sagot natin. Ito yun yung sagot. Uh, so, proceed tayo sa next question. So, ito yung given sa next question. Uh, ulitin natin yung foil method. Sa first term muna tayo. Uh, sa first term, meron tayong 2x times x. 2x times natin sa x. So, ang magiging sagot, 2 times 1, 2. So, sa outer naman, 2x times negative 9. 2x times having sa negative 9, ang sagot is 2 times 9, 18. Positive times negative is negative 18. x, kapit mo yung x. So, sa inner naman tayo, positive 3 times having sa x is positive 3 times natin sa x, mag 
being 3x. Sa last term na tayo, last term, 3, positive 3 times natin sa negative 9. Positive 3 times negative 9 is equal to 3 times 9, 27. Positive times negative is negative 27. Okay? Add natin itong dalawa. So, magkaiba sila ng sign. Ibig sabihin, magma-minus tayo. 18 minus 3, 13. 15. Oh, copy natin yung sign ng pinakamalaking number sa kanilang dalawa. So, negative yung pinakamalaking, negative 18 yung malaki. So, copy natin yung sign ng negative, negative 15 yan. Tapos, copy natin yung x. Negative 15 x. Ngayon, ipagsama natin itong tatlo. Meron tayong 2x squared minus 15x minus 27. So, ayun yung sagot natin for this question. Thank you. Okay, so very good, Eldrian. Your answers are all correct. So, kayo rin. Testingin natin kung kakayanin nyo mag-multiply ng mga binomials gamit ang FOIL method. Anyway, may iba rin tayong paraan ng pag-multiply ng binomials. So, pinakita ka lang yung FOIL method na maaari nyo magamit sa pag-multiply nito. So, may hinanda ako sa inyong limang questions pero may mga answers na rin siya. Pwede nyo pag-practicean kung magiging tama or kaparehas ng mga answers na nandito na, naka na nakikita nyo rito sa aking screen. So, I hope na ma-enjoy nyo ang pag-multiply ng binomials gamit ang FOIL method. So, that's all for today. Once again, I'm your Mr. ATL and I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. LD and Dalikan. So, I hope you learned something. Bye-bye!